Good evening, I'm Chris King, the Dean of Analytics and one of the expert handicappers at Winners and Winers. I'm here with my free pick of the day for Monday, July 11th, 2022. As you know, it's the final full week of games before the All-Star break, and we've got a light schedule on Monday with only 10 games. That's partially only because of a doubleheader between the Royals and Tigers at Kauffman Stadium. Our free pick Sunday was a much lower scoring game than we were expecting in the Valley of the Sun. In the end, however, we said to take the Rockies as the visiting team over the Diamondbacks. Trailing 2 0 after six innings, Colorado scored three times in the seventh and held Arizona at bay down the stretch to earn a 3 2 victory, allowing them to take three of four in the series. That gives us back to back wins here on the free pick videos. Uh, on the premium side, our bet of the day was the Dodgers on the run line at minus 120 over the Cubs. Didn't look good early as Julio Urias gave up five runs in the first inning on a P.J. Uh, Higgins grand slam, but the Cubs bullpen, as expected, wilted, allowing the, the Dodgers to come back and win that game by a score of 11-9 to at Dodger Stadium for the first four-game sweep at Chavez Ravine of the Cubs by Los Angeles since 1965. As always, make sure you like, subscribe, and ring the bell on YouTube. Feel free to chime in with your comments about the pick we have for, for Monday, some of the other games on the slate, and let me know what you might be chasing after on this light schedule. Today we're going to take a look at a matchup between a pair of AL West rivals down in the Lone Star State. The Oakland A's head to, on the road looking to draw first blood in their series with the Texas Rangers as the teams open up a three-game set at Globe Life Park. Oakland lost the rubber game of their three-game set with the Astros on Sunday afternoon, losing 6-1 at home. Meanwhile, Texas missed out on a chance to sweep the AL Central leading Twins at home as they fell 6-5 on Sunday afternoon. In the season series this year, the Rangers have won five of the seven meetings and have outscored the A's 38-19 in those contests. Oakland's going to turn to rookie Adrian Martinez. No, not the former Nebraska quarterback that now plays at Kansas State, much to the chagrin of Scott Steen. Uh, it's the rookie pitcher who's going to make the fourth start of his his major league career in the opener. Now, sure, you can talk about how he's 2-1 and one on the season, but his ERA is 6. He's got a 1.40 whip. He's walked 2, struck out 11 in 15 innings. And he hasn't been victimized by bad luck. His, his FIP ERA on the year is 5.9 going into this contest. In his two road starts, he's got a 6.30 ERA, a 1.30 whip, two walks and six strikeouts over two innings. Uh, he was roughed up for seven runs on seven hits with two walks and three strikeouts over four and two-thirds against Seattle in his last road start on June 30th. On the flip side, the Rangers have shifted Glenn Otto back to Tuesday, so this start belongs to Spencer Howard, who not uh, surprisingly isn't a guy that you necessarily want to see on the mound. He makes his fifth start or fifth appearance and third start of the year for Texas, and he's been awful. Let's face it. 0-2, a 1097 earned run average, a 1875 whip, four walks and 14 strikeouts. He's given up six homers in just ten and two thirds innings. You want the one plus for Howard here? Oakland doesn't hit homers. They went into Sunday second worst in the majors, which is 61 home runs as a team on the season. So Howard might have found a, a guy, a team that can actually, you know, he can keep the ball in the park against. Howard doesn't have much of a track record against the A's. He's faced them once. That came in a relief appearance back on April 24th. He took the loss in that game throwing two innings, allowing two runs on two hits with no walks and four strikeouts in a game that Texas lost 2 to nothing. Now, neither pitcher's been good this season, and the numbers bear that out. Sure, Martinez has a pair of wins on his ledger in three outings, but he was fortunate in those contests. After all, he faced a Detroit team that's had offensive woes all season long and a Blue Jays team that sputtered over the last week since first base coach Mark Budzinski's daughter passed in a tubing accident. He was torched by Seattle in, in his other road start, and while we might not get to that level of ineptitude today, it's going to be tough for Martinez to hang in. 
he's gotten by with smoke and mirrors so far as if you look at his minor league numbers he went four and three with a 563 earned run average a 1.406 whip 23 walks and 73 strikeouts over 64 innings in 13 starts for las vegas in the pacific coast league are le- so those are less than impressive numbers not even going five innings a start uh in triple a Oakland's bullpen comes in 21st in the majors with a 4.22 ERA, while the Rangers, for all their issues, are 7th with a 3.30 earned run average from the bullpen this season. And that's going to prove to be the difference in a battle of incompetent starters. A lot of arms going to be used in this one. The Rangers have the advantage um, in the bullpen. That's going to prove to be the difference as they get the win. My pick of the day is the Rangers at minus 159 as of Sunday evening at WinBet. Uh, My best bet on the premium side for Monday is the Phillies and the Cardinals as they close out a four-game wraparound set. Aaron Nola going for the Phillies, Miles Mikolas going for St. Louis. Uh, It's available on our website for $49.99, but since you're watching the video, you know the deal. You can get 50% off. If you go and make the purchase, enter the promo code chr 50 RQ3 and you'll save 25 bucks. That's CHR50 RQ3. Uh, if you don't want to go with my pick, you can always go after Scott Steen, who's been on a roll, or Sean Miller, or any of our other uh, experts, and uh, go from there. Thanks for tuning in. We'll be back Tuesday with another free pick, or I'm sorry, Monday for Tuesday's games with another free pick video. Make sure that you remember if you hit the subscribe button, you'll never have to go looking for the next video because you'll be notified as soon as it comes available. For winners and whiners, I'm Chris King. We'll see you next time.